Hello everybody, my name is Frankie Maglioli and I'm a wireless engineer in Huawei, Germany. Today I'm very happy to share with you some insights about my daily job. First thing first, I would like to introduce myself. I am 26 years old, I have a master's degree in telecommunication engineering from RWTH Aachen University and also I've been in Huawei for already three years now. My job of wireless engineer belongs to the carrier network uh, business group. I'm mostly focused on the radio access network part, uh, working for customers such as big mobile network operators. This job might have a variety of tasks, starting from testing up to the implementation. And I will guide you briefly of what my assignments have been in the past few years. My first assignments were in the testing project. Uh, what I was doing back then was testing some new features before they would be implemented in the actual network. So we were sitting in a lab environment and we were testing features such as, for example, carrier aggregation or handovers for 4G networks back then. Now it's also 5G, of course. These features were important to be tested because we would need to check their feasibility with the legacy network. At the same time, I was also participating in some testing campaigns in the field. So uh, we were going out there and we were checking the performance of our uh, solutions and services with regards to KPIs, maybe like throughput or latency and so on. And uh, this time was actually uh, very exciting for me because I was actually learning a lot. It was quite deep in the technical side. Also, it was a great teamwork because we were working together, going out there and testing. And also it was great in terms of achieving these good results that we were hoping for. At the same time, I remember some funny moments. Once, just four days, we were, we were going in many cities, small towns and villages. In some of these small towns, I was encountering some, some locals and we were all going there with some testing equipment and with some devices and these locals were a bit concerned whether we would be coming from a construction company and we would be uh, building some buildings in, in there. They were quite relieved to hear that we would not touch the nature, we would not build any building, we would simply work for uh, enhancing their networks. After one year of uh, being mostly involved with uh, uh, testing projects, I shifted more into the implementation domain. And implementation domain means basically more of our rollout project. So basically we have a remote team who is doing upgrade of the current 4G, 5G stations, who is upgrading services in there, or is creating even new ones. And for one of these projects, I was assigned to be the team leader of our remote integration team. My responsibilities in here uh, were beyond the technical capabilities. It was also now in the organizational part because I had to take care that our engineers are implementing the right technical solution, that they are uh, following the security guidelines and they are doing the correct reporting and so on. And this meant that I also had to take care of the communication with customers sometimes to answer their questions, to report our progress and so on. At the same time, apart from skill number one and skill number two that this job might take or different tasks that we have to do on a, on a regular basis, I also try to think of myself of how we can always improve because being in this position now, uh, we always have to think of our processes, how we can make them more efficient and how we can work in a, in a better way in order to achieve the targets and even exceed our customer expectation. When I think now about my uh, time as a student, I remember that I was really passionate about the networks, the mobile networks, and how the ICT uh, technologies was changing uh, our world. Uh, back then, I had the chance to, to study this and, and do my own research in a very theoretical perspective. After joining Huawei, I had the chance to see this from a more hands-on perspective. And thinking of these two aspects right now, I think that it's very important to succeed in this job by having a very strong technical background, but at the same time, uh, constantly in the daily progress, I've learned the importance of this job. And this is something that I've learned even more while being part of it, while seeing every day how us at Huawei, but everybody working in this industry, is working and is giving a contribution, is making an impact on people's life. By seeing how every day we build a better connected world has made me even more motivated and has made me even more passionate. Thank you very much for watching this video.